Have you see? This is Aaron, Mitha Alamer, and today I am finishing out the H's in my collection. Pretty good stuff here. A lot of classic rock, some hard rock, a um, little bit of heavy metal, a bunch of other stuff. So I'll, I'll get into it. First up, I've got Heart. Really like Heart. They're a great band. This is Dreambow and Annie, a really good record or debut. Um, yeah, I really like this band. Some really good stuff. Um, great, great singers. Ann Wilson's a great singer. I really love. Um, when she did a brother on Allison Chains' of Sap record, sang uh, with Liam Staley, that was amazing. She's a great singer. Done, of course, Magic Man's on this. That's a great song. You know, Dreamboat Annie's good. Crazy on you, killer stuff there. Very underrated. They should have been bigger than they were. I thought. Now we got Little Queen, another really good one. She has my favorite, well, most hard rock people's favorite heart song, Barracuda. Great guitar riff in that. That's just an amazing song. This whole album's really good. And then I've got Magazine, another good album here. Heartless is on here, and, uh, you know, they're, they're just really good. And Dog and Butterfly. You can usually tell bands I like a lot, because I'll have a lot of their records, so I like to get everything, if, they, if I like them. And then uh, Babel is Strange, another really good one. Really like these old heart records. I like the uh, the seventies heart better than the uh, mid eighties. The mid eighties is pretty good, but it's just it was a little more commercial. I like the older stuff better. This is a really good one. It's a live record, and it's a double record here. Yeah, it's got it's really good. There's the track list if you want to see it. So me rattling all of them off here. But yeah, that's a really good record there. And then this one here, I actually like quite a bit. Private Audition, really good record. I don't need to show these labels, they're all pretty common. Yeah, that's a, this is a really surprisingly good record here. It's good. And uh, this is a uh, Passion Works, it's actually still sealed. And then Self Titled, that's side of a lot of their big hits in the 80s on it. Like, uh, Looks to Kill and um, Never, you know, These Dreams. It's their big 80s, big mega seller here. Pretty good stuff. I prefer the 70s though. You know, I got a sealed copy of Bad, Bad Animals as well. It's a pretty good record too. And then uh, Brigade. This is the end of my heart here. So there's some, you know, they're, they're really good. Everyone knows them. This here is a uh, kind of an indie band, um, kind of power pop. They're really good. It's called The Heats. I really like this record. I didn't know about them until I bought this as a blind buy a couple years ago, and it, it's, it's pretty good stuff. Yeah, they're good. If you like power pop at all, or power rock, not rock, but power pop, I guess they call it. Kind of a faster rock. It's pretty good. And here's a Hellfield. Pretty good record, too. I thought this was gonna be a little heavier than it was. It's it's pretty good though. It's a hard rock. Mike Hellfield, I believe, was a singer. Well, Mitch Hellfield's a drummer. Huh, guess not. Rick Lamb. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I got some Jimmy. Some uh, Are You Experienced this is a great record. This is uh, still the copy I've had since I was young. Well, I've had this since the 70s, probably the late 70s when I got this. This is a, my favorite songs are your experience, just because I love the guitar in there. It's just so great. And, you know, but all these songs are great. Really, really killer record. I need to get me a, a better copy. That's a bit beat up. And I've got a Axis Bold as Love. This is a great record here. It's six for nine. That's a great song. Cover that. Everyone, everyone knows this pretty well. Here's the inner. Someone unfortunately wrote on, you know, colored in a little bit there. But the record here, uh, it sounds really good though. It's a really good sounding record. Really clean. I don't actually have Electric Lady Lance, the one I need to get, but I do have Band of Gypsies. Really good record as well. Buddy Miles on here. I got a couple of Buddy Miles records too. This is good stuff here. I, I prefer the uh, experience, but Band of Gypsies was really good as well. Green Capital. And I got some Smash Hits, another really good one. Just a compilation, of course. He only had a few records. That's a good one. 
And this one's my most beat up Jimi Hendrix one. It's Rainbow Bridge. I keep it till I get a better copy. <laughs> this is hammered. The record itself plays though pretty good. It doesn't skip or anything. It's all right. And then another pretty hammered one in the West. Kind of older copies for me until I can get some better ones, but you know I listen to these occasionally. They, they still play all right. There's a couple scratches on that one though. Here's a really good one here. Um, live at Woodstock. This is a triple record, and it's number number four nine eight eight. And this has his entire performance from Woodstock. It's really cool. They even have like you know them warming up and all that stuff. It's it's really cool. I really like this record. There's the if you can see it. <laughs> I'll show the inside. But this is a yeah. It's his whole his entire Woodstock performance from from uh, you know tuning the guitars and everything. That's pretty cool. And this is what the vinyl looks like. It's a triple record. Then I've got some uh, Free Spirit. The rest of these will be compilations or just odd, odds and ends of Hendrix, of course. Pretty different label there. And then this one is from Holland. It's a Holland copy of uh, Voodoo Child. Pretty good one here, too. Pretty good compilation. And then I've got The Essential Jimi Hendrix, Volume 1. It's a double record, you know, it's got a lot of, most of his best songs on here. Really good collection here. And it's got a whole bunch of liner notes, pretty good to listen to read. Pretty cool. Yeah, and there's the, the vinyl. And then I have uh, Essential Jimi Hendrix Volume 2. This is a single disc. But what's cool about this one is uh, it comes with a 45, one side of 45. Of Gloria. That's pretty good. It's pretty cool. And it's just totally blank over here. This side uh, has the song Gloria, and it's it's a pretty cool version of it. You know, a lot of people have done that song. This is a eight, almost nine minute long version of it with Hendrix. So you know, it's good. And I got some Don Henley. This is I Can't Stand Still. Of course, this one had a. Uh, that really killer song, um, da, 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 Dirty Laundry, yeah. <laughs> Lose my mind here, yeah. Good record, I, I prefer this to, this is probably my favorite non-Henley solo record, I like this one. I also have uh, Building the Perfect Beast though as well. This had his big hits on it, Boys of Summer, and you know, a bunch of big hits on this. You know, what, um, all she wants to do is dance, Sunset Grill, you know, it's good stuff. You like Don Henley? And this band, I don't even know. I, it's one of the ones I was trying to sell when I sold all my records, and I, you know, all those got put back in after the sale. But it's a country band called Highway 101. If anyone knows anything about them, I don't really know much about this band. It's in pretty good shape, though. Pretty decent copy there. And here's one of my very favorite bands. I only have one record by them, and um, this is Hermano, Only a Suggestion. This is a great, great record. I believe they had three studio records and a live record, and a live one is amazing. And this is John Garcia from Caius, his one of his other bands. This has you know the bottle, alone Hefe. Uh, no one will know these probably except for a few people, but really killer thing. Actually, one of my biggest grails is their other record, Dare I Say. It's one of my favorite records ever made. Seriously, it's one of the best records in the last you know 20 or 30 years. Dare I Say this, but all of those are really good. That's a killer record. And I got some uh, Hoot Nanny with the Highwaymen. Not really my style, but I mean it's all right. It's a different, different. Pretty old label there. And here's a really good band. This is a newer band. They're kind of a thrash band called High Command. This is a really good record. I enjoy this one. Kind of like uh, power metal, thrash, somewhere in that area. Killer stuff. And here's a newer band. I, I just got this not long ago, so I've only heard it twice, but I like it. It's uh, High on Fire, Electric Messiah. Pretty good record here. It's a double record. You know, like they do all of them now. They put one or two or three songs per side now. And uh, both of the discs are picture discs on it. That's what they look like. Pretty cool. And they, they both look the same.
And here's a good band. Uh, I believe Graham Nash was in this band. This is the Holly's Greatest Hits. They were a good band. They were, you know, late 60s, early 70s. Good stuff here. And then I have the very best of the Hollies. Just a little a bit of a cut corner. That's a, kind of an odd one. You don't see him rounded as often like that. And then uh, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother. That's a good song. Really good album here. The Hollies are a good band. I like them. And then Distant Light. And this had a uh, long, cool woman in a black dress. Yeah. Yeah, that's the first song. And this cut, this, this, this album cover is really cool. Let's see. That's a cool picture. They're pretty trippy. I like that. A lot of stuff. You, if you look around for a while, you notice a lot of different things in there. It's pretty cool. Then I got some uh, the Honey Drippers. Of course, Robert Plant. With sea of Love on it. Another pretty good record there. It's uh, a little different. It's not not loads up on that's for sure, but it's good. And then uh, some Canadian hard rock, Honeymoon Suite. They're a really good band. I like them. There's the label. New Girl Now is the big hit off this. Pretty good. And here's a really good record here. This is John Lee Hooker, House of the Blues. I've been really getting into blues and punk lately. I just, I don't know why. I just really like them a lot more than I did when I was younger. And this is a really good record here. John Lee Hooker, great blues artist. This, I think, is one of the most underrated albums of the 80s. It isn't hard rock. This is just a, like a, uh, a rock album, pop rock. But this is, I love this record. This is the Hooters, Nervous Night. Really killer record. All You Zombies, when I first heard that, I just, I fell in love with it. I love that song. And it's got... This is a really good record all the way through. This is a great, very underrated record. And we dance, that's a great song, you know, Day by Day. They had a bunch of big hits from this, Hanging on a Heartbeat. And uh, they have one called Where Do the Children Go? It's a ballad with Patti Smythe, who is in Scandal. That's really good, South Ferry Road. This is more, uh, this is a, a really good record. If anyone hasn't listened to that, it's, it's good. Then I've got the All You Zombies 12 inch. And then their later album, I didn't like this one quite as well, but it's alright. It's called uh, One Way Home. And this is one of the oldest, like, uh, it's an older record here. One of my oldest ones. It's a Lena Horn, in, uh, incomparable Lena Horn. There's the label there. I'm not actually touching these records, my hands away from them. <laughs> And here's a really good band from England, and they only had this one EP, I believe, called Horse London. They're really killer, like power metal. Really good biker power metal stuff. This is really good. Good Day to Die. I love this album. I, I had the tape of it back when it first came out, and I loved it. I still like it. Wheels in Motion. Really good. And one of my least favorite records in my collection, but a lot of people like her. Whitney Houston. And here's another good one. Some Howlin' Wolf. Greatest Hits is a reissue. Howlin' Wolf's really good. I like him. Red vinyl there. And this is a really interesting band here. This is one of my newer acquisitions. I heard the guy playing at the record store and I was like, wow, that's really different. And I really liked it. It's called The, the Who. Not the band The Who, but The Who, the band The Who. H-U, The Who. And this is Mongolian heavy metal. It's really, really, it's kind of tribal, heavy, really different sounding. I really like it. Really good stuff here. Yeah. It's my only Mongolian uh, rock album I have. Killer stuff. Then um, I only have a couple of this, man. I need to get more. This is Humble Pie on a Victory. Not one of their better records, but it's all right. Their early stuff's way better. And then I have um, Eat It. Double live record. Here's the, this one has a, a book in here, booklet, kind of stapled in here. It's pretty cool. Humble Pie is a pretty good band. I like them. And here's a uh, kind of an indie band. I really like this, though. This is Hunters and Collectors. It's a Judas Sheep. It's only two songs. And Egg Hearts on the other side. This is really good. I like this. It's really different. I like Hunters and Collectors. At least this. I, I haven't heard anything except for this, but I like this a lot. Really good. And here's a uh, 
hard rock metal band from the uh, late from the late late eighties or so. Um, Hurricane, take what you want. This is their first EP, and of course the uh, singer Kelly Hansen is now in Foreigner. But it's kind of cool because the uh, the guitarist and bass player are the brothers of the guitarist and bass player from Quiet Riot. Only it's um, what are they? It's Cavazzo and Sarzo. I can't remember what they're. Oh, here they are. Robert Sarzo, and he's the lead guitarist, which is the bass player of Quiet Riot is the uh, his brother. And the guitarist for Quiet Riot, Carlos Cavazzo, his brother Tony Cavazzo, plays the bass. So they, they're switched on this. They're pretty cool. They're a little more commercial than most of the bands I liked back then, but they're pretty good. And then I have their other album, their full length album here. Had the big hit, I'm On To You. you know, they're pretty good. I like, they were never my favorite back then, but I, I always liked them. And this band I've really got into in the last few years. This is a great, great band. Um, they're, they're not heavy, heavy metal. They're more pop metal, but they're really good. Way better than Hurricane, actually. It's just hits. I've really got this record here. I love this record. Really, really good. Every song on it. And they have, you know, they have heavy, heavy songs, and they have some ballady stuff. But they're really good. They're kind of like uh, if you mix Loverboy, Axe, and Crocus, maybe if you mix them together. Kind of that's what they sound like. And then here's their second album. That's uh, this one isn't nearly as good. It's more keyboard oriented. The other one's more raw, hard rocking. This one's this one's all right. The other one, I've listened to the other one at least thirty times more than I've heard this one. So. So there's the rest of my H's, pretty good. And uh, next I'll be up with the I's and a uh, big section Iron Maiden in there. It's not a huge letter, not a lot of bands, but I got a lot of good stuff in there. Um, all right, well, thanks a lot for watching and um, rock on.